discussing yesterday yesterday in the yesterday's class we were discussing about the the question asked by the nimi and also the answer said by the people ayan so from this we are trying to understand the definitions of bhagavan brahman and paramatma so he is explaining so bhagavan as people ayan is explaining sthityudbhava pralaya hetuhu ahetuhu so this is the definition for the bhagavan next what is the brahman so brahmani is yat swapna jagara susuptishu sad bahischa the one who sees exist throughout the awakening stage dreaming stage and also in the deep sleep state and also which is existing outside of these three so that is known as brahman and next what देहेन्द्रिय वाट इज द परमात्मा वाट इज द डेफिनेशन फॉर द परमात्मा ये ये नेहादि देहेन्द्रिय आसु हृदया चरती और संजीविता बै विच बॉडी द लाइफ एयर एंड द माइंड विल फंक्शन आर बिकमिंग एंड लिविंग सो दट ईज नोन एज परमात्मा सो लाइक दिस थ्री डेफिनेशन ही गेव बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन इज आस्क बै दि the same way the way the question is asked in the same way in the same sequence answer is given so here the important point is so then so the important point if you see the question people i was asking sorry nimi is asking you may explain or able uh, tell me the nature of the brahman paramatma and the bhagavan or or narayana so like this he asked and then people and also answered what is the brahman and what is the bhagavan and what is the paramatma but now what is our concept what is the relation between the brahman paramatma and bhagavan what we are what is our siddhanta what is our philosophy our philosophy is tattvam is only one but if we realize that tattvam along with all the visheshanas then that is known as bhagavan and if the same tattvam with few qualities or few visheshanas if you realize then that is paramatma and the same tattva without any visheshanas if you realize that is brahman that is our philosophy so now that philosophy is existing in this answer or not that you have to check so that is the point so now yes how you can say sthityudbhava pralaya hetur ahetuhu is the definition of the bhagavan if it if it if it should be uh, if it has to be a definition of bhagavan what it should do it should express the tattvam along with the all the visheshanas that is doing or not you should see sthityudbhava pralaya hetuhu means the one which is the cause for the the creation destruction maintenance and destruction of the the material world and ahetuhu that means from this what we are understanding so from this we are understanding the absolute truth which is having the the controlling of maya and the jiva is seen from this maya jiva niyantrata niyantrutva shakti is expressed by this definition by the word ahetuhu also we are understanding ahetuhu means what which is not at all having any hetu means which is existing by itself that means which is existing that means which is existing also it is having the own form so that means it is existing and it is having the form that is because of its swarupa shakti so from the word ahetuhu we are clearly understanding his internal potencies and also from the sthityudva pralaya hetuhu we are also understanding his controlling power of maya and the jiva 
So from this we are clearly understanding this is covering the all the potencies. So this is the that's why it is the definition for the Bhagavan. Next after that we also discussed what is the Paramatma. Paramatma realization means the Paramatma is the one who is controlling the Maya and the Jiva. That means because of him, because of his existence only, the body is having the living symptoms. It is becoming living actually. Body is becoming living, otherwise it will be a dead matter. Because Paramatma, he will be spreading his Kriya Shakti and Jnana Shakti entire the body. Of course, there is a Jnana Shakti for the Jivatma also. Jivatma is also Chit, is conscious. But Jivatma is also conscious and it is also having the, if it is a conscious then what it is having? It is having the Gnana Shakti. If some ant bites you on the hand, so you will immediately feel pain. What is the reason for this? Because yeah, the why you feel? That means, uh, oh, I am hurted by this ant. That means you only get that feeling because your Atma, I, my Atma will not realize that. If ant bites on your hand, you only feel that, but not myself. That means the Atma which is existing in you, so that is understanding. Even Atma is sitting in one place, where it is Atma? Atma is in the heart. In the region of the heart it is existing. But how it is coming to know about the, the ant biting on the hand? So how it is possible? But that means Atma is running there and it is finding? No, Atma is staying in the heart only, but how it is coming to know? The consciousness, that means the Chit Shakti, that means Gnana Shakti, is spreading like a one lamp. Lamp is in the one room, but still there is a, even lamp is sitting in one place, is staying in one place, but its Prakasha, the light is spreading entire the room. The same way Jivatma is is infinitely small and it is sitting in one place, but his Gnana Shakti is spreading. But what is the role of the Gnana Shakti of the Bhagavan? We understood that in the Bhakti Sandarbha, Kriya Shakti and Gnana Shakti belongs to the Bhagavan. But now this Gnana Shakti is uh, of the Jivatma also is, is there. Then how to understand? So now we should understand that the Gnana Shakti of the Jivatma, whatever is there, that is spreading entire, entire the body by not itself, it is spreading. It is not having any capacity. Like example, there is Agarbati and the smell is there. That means the, it's, uh, the, you lit the Agarbati and now it is burning. That Agarbati is giving the smell. How it is, the smell is coming to your nose, which is staying there and but you are getting smell here. How it is possible? The smell is carried by the a, the same way the Gnana Shakti of the Jivatma is carried by the Gnana Shakti of Paramatma. Paramatma Shakti is the carrier. So because of this only the Jiva Shakti, Jiva, Jivas, the Chit Shakti, that means Gnana Shakti is spreading entire the body. So this way. Uh. No, no, no. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, that is obviously everything belongs to Paramatma only. But the main point is to maintain the distinction. That means why the ant, if it is bites on my hand, why you are not feeling? To maintain this rule. That means to maintain this uh, difference. We have to accept the, the Gnana Shakti of the Jivatma which is pervading in your, your body. So that you can easily maintain. That means if any ant bites on your body, so that you only will feel. And if you say, if it is the Gnana Shakti of the Paramatma, then Paramatma is existing everywhere and then everyone has to feel the 
pain of everyone that kind of problem will come so to that's why the philosophy is made like that so uh, which is practical also it should be practical <coughs> so like this in this way the jiva the paramatma is the cause for the livingness of this body otherwise everything will be dead that means they will not function body is also functioning in various ways that means it is cleaning the body it is cleaning and it is digesting so many things it is doing so many limbs are there and everyone is working and also life air is just going in this body equally in all the parts so that everything is balanced body is balanced and the similarly this ha this mind is also functioning for these are all these all the gross elements are these are all jada that means inert materials they are all becoming active because of the presence of paramatma in the body so if the paramatma not the just presence of the jivatma jivatma is that you cannot give the whole credit to the jivatma so that's why the main credit goes to the paramatma only so that's why paramatma is the is the cause for the functions of all these that means pindandam the same way paramatma is also cause for the functions of brahmanda so that paramatma is localized paramatma also is there and also central paramatma is also there that means who is the garbhodaka sai vishnu and each brahmanda and on top of all the brahmandas there is one more paramatma and he is the karana no sai vishnu so like this in the various levels he is sitting and he is controlling this body as a, these gross materials and also the jivatma maya and the jivatma bahiranga shakti and jivatma and also we discussed in the yesterday's class this paramatma tattvam that means paramatma roopam is also included in the bhagavan otherwise your philosophy is going wrong so you should establish this because you are saying that tattvam is only one and if you realize only few visheshanas or few shaktis of that tattvam then that is known as paramatma to prove this philosophy so to establish your philosophy from this shloka so you have to give the logic so by the word which we are giving this logic by the word ahetuhu how the ahetuhu is helping us to support our philosophy how oh yeah but for this point we need only one yeah what is that last one how to explain this ah yeah yes uh but systematically that means step by step so ahetuhu means what first ahetuhu is nothing but the bhagavan first step that is then after that yeah yeah ahetuhu because we are already discussed that means stityudva pralaya hetur ahetuhu ahetuhu is the bhagavan that is already established one now then ahetuhu is how will help you to say paramatma is also included in bhagavan that means in the same tattvam so that you have to establish that is your goal then you have to start from that first step ahetuhu is equal to bhagavan then after that from the ahetuhu what you can derive that means ahetuhu is indicating the amshitvam of the bhagavan how it is indicating amshitvam of the bhagavan so that you have to explain so amshitva ahetuhu means what you should analyze then then you should analyze the word ahetuhu ahetu means the one which is not having any hetu that means the one which is not having any thing separate from how that means which is not having outside of him that means that means no nothing is there uh, out of him so then that means this whatever is there that is itself is everything that means it is amshi this point is clear then it is amshi then it is after that easy then paramatma is also what then he is not the amshi that means there is no if he is amshi then you could, bhagavan is not said as ahetuhu already bhagavan is said as ahetuhu then that means he is amshi he became amshi then whatever is there that means paramatma or bhagavan uh, brahman everything will be inside of this only so it's a simple so like this we discussed yesterday this point also and what is paramatma tattvam that is also clearly said now next we will go further yeah uh ah. mm. yes ah 
that is uh, actually prabhu the acharyas we, we that is our intelligence actually intelligence means our acharyas what they do so they will take the same srimad bhagavatam which is central for everyone which is common for everyone even sri vaishnavas advaitins and also advaitins uh, everyone can take that everyone can access but from that you should establish your philosophy yeah yeah yes yes uh 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 that statement also we we see na that means in another pla- another places also so bhagavan this is a purna avirbhava so that we see in the different different places of the scriptures also bhagavan realization is a purnatam realization that definitely we see definitely so now to establish that point again and again in every place so then you have to use your so philosophy and also your logic yeah 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 ah then if you ask like this then brahma sutras are the because srimad bhagavatam is nothing but the commentary of the brahma sutras the whatever the points we are the facts we discuss through the text of srimad bhagavatam so you will definitely find the sutra related to that in the brahma sutras so that we have to reverse engineering we should do so now we learn this concept from the srimad bhagavatam then what can be the the sutra for this that you can check back but uh, i have no memory of that now so because that kind of books also are there so where the srimad bhagavatam which this shloka is telling about is the commentary for which sutra so such a correlation that means such a connection is is also see, is uh, through the seeing the connection between the shlokas and sutras such a books also written and samdas also wrote that book yeah 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 yes yeah <laughs> this tirumala's commentary good <laughs> so like like this brahma sutras are the central that means is are the common that's a, a standards every sampradaya has to follow that and when you say then srimad bhagavatam is commentary of the brahma sutras then you have to prove that also that means you should so show, you should first understand the philosophy of the each shloka of srimad bhagavatam and also see the connective connecting sutras for that ha huh? yeah सदेव सौम्येदमग्र आसी सत एव सौम्य इदम अग्रे आसीत दट इज ओके दट इज अनदर सूत्र लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर इफ यू वांट टू इन्वॉल्व योर सेल्फ एंड मे इमर्स इन सेल्फ योर सेल्फ इन द शास्त्रास देन सो मेनी थिंग्स लाइक दिस जस्ट इट्स अ डिवोशन ओनली बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग द लीलास एंड द ओके तथा च नमस्तुभ्यं भगवते ब्रह्मणे परमात्मने इत्यत्र वरुणकृत श्रीकृष्णस्तुत सो हियर आल्सो इट इज क्लियरली सेड दट मीन्स वरुण वरुण भगवान वेन कृष्ण वेन टू दट वरुण लोक सो ही ग्लोरीफाइड कृष्ण भगवान इन द टेन्थ कैंड टू एक्चुअली ट्वेंटी एट चाप्टर सो इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट you all know this story so namastubyam what he is saying varuna bhagavan what he is saying to krishna that means i pay my obeisances to you bhagavate that means brahmane paramatmane you are the bhagavan you are the brahman and you are the paramatma so this is itself you are asking na prabhu the where is the another place yeah but if you want to go to the sutras then you can check in the 
Brahma Sutras also. It is it is definitely it will exist. Tika Acha. So even in the Tika, that means Sridhar Swami also saying that means Paramatma is included in the Bhagavan. Bhagavan is a shelter for the Paramatma and the Brahman. That is also is uh, accepted by the Sridhar Swami. So Paramatma ne sarva jivan yantre. This is the sloka. Sorry. Okay, for that Namastubhyam Bhagavate Brahmane Paramatmane, this is the sloka from 10th Gan to 28th chapter 7 sloka. For this sloka's commentary by the Sridhar Swami, what Sridhar Swami is saying? Paramatma means Sarva Jeeva Niyantri. That means the one who controls all the living entities. So, this is the, oh, this is the one more place. So, that means Paramatma is nothing but the controller of the, controller of the, the living entities. That is accepted by the, directly accepted by the Sridhar Swami also. Jeevasya Atmatvam Tada Apekshaya Tasya Paramatvam Ityataha Paramatma Shabdena Tat Sahayogi Sayeva Vejjate Iti Tat, okay. Then what is the difference between Atma and Paramatma? So Atma means what? Jeevasya Atmatvam Tadapekshaya Tasya Paramatvam Atma is is a Jeevatma. And compared to this Jeevatma, so Paramatma is superior. That means which is existing in all the living entities. That means he is the Sarvakshetreshu. That means uh, he is Sarvakshetragna. He is a knower of all the fields. But the Jeevatma is a knower of his own field. So since this difference is there, this difference is there, that's why the para, it is known as Paramatma. The one which is knowing all the fields is known as Paramatma because it is knowing every field. That's why it is known as Paramatma. Atma means so which spreads or otherwise which knows about the field. It is a Kshetragna. Atma means the another meaning. Bhagavad Gita also you see. Atma means it is a Kshetragna. It is a knower of the field. This is a general definition of Atma. Then why the Bhagavan is known as Paramatma? Because he is a knower of all the fields. Yeah. He is also a knower. But he is a knower of all the fields. That is why he is superior Atma. That is why he is known as Paramatma. Okay. Clear. Next. Tat. Kshetragnaha is the knower of the field. Yes. Many definitions are there. That means from the word you can bring this so many meanings. Then why the Bhagavan is known as Paramatma? That is the point we have to uh, as explain. That means that means some superiorness is there in the Paramatma. What is that superior, superior superiority? That is nothing but the so knowing of everything. And also he is the bringing the the yeah, okay. Tattad avishishtatvena brahmatva matram chayevam upatishtati ityaha sopneti. So what is our philosophy? What is the Brahman according to our philosophy? If you realize the same tattvam without any visheshnas attributes, then it is known as Brahman. Tattad avishishtatvena. Avishishtatvena. Avishishtatvena means without any attributes. That is known as Brahmatvam. So that is there or not in this Pippalayana's answer, we should see. What Pippalayana is saying? Pippalayana is saying that Yat Swapna Jagara Susupshistu Susuptishu Sad Bahischa. So now we will see the definition of Brahman. Uh, that should be the Seeing the truth without attributes. But Pippalani is saying that the Brahman is nothing but the one which is existing in Jagaravastha, Sopnavastha, Sushupti, 
and also which is existing outside of these three that means samadhi yeah yeah in these in four so now ujiva goswami is elaborating this jagare swapne shushupta shushupta ucha yat sad sad means anvitam that means which exist in these three tad bahihi that means apart from these three what is the fourth uh, what is the outside one apart from these three that is nothing but samadhi samadhi turiya means samadhi samada ucha yad avasishtam yad avasishtam that is nothing but avasishtam means which exist that is chinmatratvena prakashamanam so that means in this and there everywhere it is existing means that is nothing but the that is a chinmatra satta that is that is nothing but brahma yeah uh, prakashamanam is the that means which is uh, effulgent which is effulgent which is glowing or which is effulgent that is a uh, simple chin uh uh swapna uh. it is uh, existing in these three stages also and also it is uh, existing in the out of these three that means the fourth one samadhi also that is known as brahman uh existing means uh <coughs> which is uh involved in this three and also apart from this three like you see senses senses mind body these are all not there in the stage of samadhi and also in the shushupti that means which is witness uh, sakshi what is english word witness so who is a witness for all these stages that is known as brahman uchi paramatma is different uchi is controlling the jeeva and others here is what uchi is a witnessing all these four stages yeah witness means which is existing here it doesn't mean that the brahman should be a knower but which is common to all these four the one which is common to all these four stages that is known as brahman so this we discussed in the tattva sandarbha last part you may remember or not so that means shuddha jeevatma this actually who is the witness on the these four stages that is nothing but shuddha jeevatma shuddha jeevatma is existing in the jagrat avastha swapna avastha and also in the turiya avastha in this swapna avastha this shuddha jeevatma is contaminated that means by the nature itself is pure but what is happening because of the ahankara so the shuddha jeevatma is entering into the vrittis of the antakarana what are the vrittis of the antakarana that means i am big i am the i am this i am that these are the different vrittis which are caused by the mind so though in those vrittis this pure jeevatma is entering and then it is getting contamination that means it is thinking itself as because of that false ego it is himself is thinking as a uh, that means body and other 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 ways so that means what shuddha jeevatma is existing in the awakening stage also also it is existing in the in the dreaming stage also when this uh, senses mind body everything is disconnected with the atma there also existing who is that that is atma itself that is shuddha jeevatma there also it is existing and when it you go to the samadhi this atma shuddha jeevatma is uh, is merged with the with the brahman so there also it is existing so actually who is existing in these four stages 
दट इज द आत्मा शुद्ध जीवात्मा ओके दट इज अ कामन टू ऑल दिस फोर देन हाउ कैन यू से दट शुद्ध जीवात्मा इज ब्रह्मन दट इज अ चैलेंज नो एक्चुअली हु इज एक्जिस्टिंग इन द फोर स्टेजेस शुद्ध जीवात्मा बिकॉज वॉट इज कामन देर आर टू जीवा दट मीन टू स्टेजेस फॉर द जीवात्मा प्योर एंड ऑल्सो इम्प्यूर बट इम्प्यूर जीवात्मा इज नॉट एक्जिस्टिंग दट मीन विथ उपाधि वेन इट दिस आत्मा उपधेय वेन इट एंटर्स इन टू द उपाधि सो दट इज ऑल्सो कंटामिनेटेड जीवात्मा दट फ्यूचर यू शुड नॉट टेक दट इज नॉट एक्जिस्टिंग इन एवरीवेर when when you go to the sushupti there the contaminated jivatma is there no because it is completely relieved from all the functions yeah body and mind and everything then what feature is existing in that stage what is the remaining in that sushupti stage that is nothing but the pure jivatma shuddha jivat when you go to the that means brahma ikyam then what is the part part is going and merging that is only the pure jivatma where chin matrata that means there are no qualities are realized that jivatma is emerging means even it is having qualities but now those are all suppressed actually those are all suppressed by the sadhana so by the using of the gnana actually gnana is a sadhana so gnana sadhana vashat by the by the power of the gnana what the yogis they do this uh, gnanis they suppress the all these vikaras and all these functions of the even atma also gnatritvam bhoktritvam ityadi that means whatever the qualities are there they suppress those they always try to that means equivalent with the all the conditions so he will not feel any pain or any pleasure no profit no loss no heat and no cold nothing that means he is suppressing his his natural tendencies of the jivatma but what devotee will do he will not suppress that he will engage that that tendencies of the natural tendencies of the jivatma so now come edyapi jagrat swapna susuptim cha जाग्रत स्वप्न सुषुप्ति गुण तो बुद्धिवृत्तया तासाम विलक्षण जीव साक्षिना विनिश्चित सो सी इन द लेवेन्थ कैंड थर्टीन चाप्टर ट्वेंटी सेवेन जाग्रत स्वप्न सुषुप्ति गुणत बुद्धिवृत्त तासा विलक्षण जीव साक्षिवन विनिश्चित कैन एनी वन रीड दि ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ दिस ठीक है मैं ही पढ़ूंगा तब तक कहा है yeah जाग्रस्वन सुषुप्ति गुणत बुद्धिवृत्त तासाम विलक्षण जीव साक्षिवन विनिश्चित सो अवेकनिंग स्टेज ड्रीमिंग स्टेज एंड ऑलसो द सुषुप्ति ऑल दीज आर ऑल वाट दीज आर ऑल दि बुद्धिवृत्त दीज आर ऑल दि फंक्शन ऑफ दि इंटेलिजेंस आफ दि मैंड वाट एवर यू कैन टेक् बुद्धि मीन यू कैन टेक् अंतकरण in reality what happens actually jagrat avastha means what jagrat avastha means you are seeing the nature and you are seeing the so many objects and you are always getting the some information 
and also some feeling thinking and so many things are happening so here you see jagrat avastha this is a pure soul and it is having the so many coverings like the mind and also that's mean intelligence mind uh, uh, ahankara mind intelligence mind and also senses like this various coverings are there so this jivatma by nature it is pure but what is happening because of the association because of the false ego because of uh, ignorance which is created by the maya so because of that what it is doing it is entering into all this that means entering into all this means these are all this means this is the senses and this is the mind and intelligence and ego and these are the sense objects sense objects so what happens actually the senses they see the sense objects and after that there will be a some vritti that means by these three are also known as antakarana generally mind intelligence and false ego are also known as antakarana so in this antakarana what finally they will interact with each other and finally different different vrittis are formed let us example if you see a pen here so that means senses are capturing pen and in the antakarana there is a vritti called pen is formed so then mind is sorry intelligence sorry soul ah prabhu okay okay it will be visible now is it visible now yeah <coughs> what prabhu it's clear ah okay okay so prabhu this is a pure soul and it is covered by the that means ego intelligence and mind and also the senses these are the various coverings on the pure jivatma and the sense objects generally we call this mind intelligence and false ego as antakarana this three that is known as antakarana internal sense these three are the nothing but internal senses and this this is this senses is the external senses that is the ear eyes nose tongue and the skin these are the external senses so and this is a sense object for example there is a pen so if anyone see the pen in with the senses then there is a vritti in this antakarana there is a vritti is formed that means called pen so this vritti that means is known as antakarana vritti so then jivatma is what it does it will relate this this with itself this is my pen this is his pen this is the other's pen like that so like this sometimes if he see himself on the mirror then what he thinks so i am beautiful there is a vritti is formed in the antakarana that means beautiful so i am beautiful then he will enter into this jivatma will enter into this and thinks himself as beautiful but he is a pure and he doesn't have anything he doesn't have anything with this whole world he is pure and nothing is to do with this but unnecessarily he will get the connection of all this with the maya so the because of the ignorance now the point is like this in the dreaming stage this will not be there in the dreaming stage what will not be there external sense uh, sense objects will not be there sense objects also created in the dream itself and those will be seen by the even sense external senses also will not be there in the dream stage that means in the awakening stage everything is there and two things are missing in the dream stage okay when you come to the uh, sushupti even this is also missing my antakarana also will not be there when you come to the that means only this pure jivatma is standing alone and when you come to the samadhi 
this pure jivatma is getting the oneness with the brahman then that is known as samadhi that means samadhi stage there is a merging merging of this pure jivatma with the brahman so like this this ex- sense objects and external senses are missing in swapna and also internal senses are missing in the shushupti like this but who is common in all in the jagrata swapna shushupti and turiya that means the fourth who is common ah uh, the soul suddha jivatma okay that is the point जाग्रत स्वप्न सुषुप्ति गुणत बुद्ध बुद्धिवृत्त विलक्षण सो जाग्रत स्वप्न सुषुप्ति इज द एक्चुअली फार्मेशन बिकॉज ऑफ दीज एंड विलक्षण द वन हूज प्यूर् जीवात्मा इज इज सपरेट फ्रॉम दिस दिस थ्री दट मीन जाग्रत स्वप्न सुषुप्ति इज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस सो He is the sakshitvena vinishchita ha. Jeeva ha, vilakshana, sakshitvena vinishchita ha. So from this, this is the sloka actually. What is the meaning of this sloka? The one who is a witness, who is separate from the Jagra Swapna and Shushupti. Jagra Swapna and Shushupti means, that means you already understood. Just I am once again pointing the thing. Jagra means interaction of all these. senses sense objects and also internal senses and swapna means interaction of the internal senses so like this the point is what jagra swapna shushupti these are all the gunataha buddhi vrittaya but the but who is separate from this that is nothing but the pure suddha jivatma iti darshanena that means from this statement what we should take iti darshanena suddha jiva swarupam eva atra upasthitam bhavati In the sloka 11, 13, 27, इन द श्लोक लेवन थर्टी ट्वेंटी सेवन सो जीव साक्षिवेन विनिश्चित जीव साक्षिवेन विनिश्चित हिर्जीव वाट शुद्ध जीव एंड ही इज द विटने एनी डाउट इन दिस नौ शुद्ध जीव ओनली दट मीन शुद्ध जीव ओनली एक्सिस्टिंग इन आल दी स्टेजेस as a common entity who is common that means who witness means who should be there also and who is common for all these stages that is nothing but the suddha jeeva suddha jeeva means <coughs> jeevatma so jeevatma without any upadis without any upadis that means without any upadis means jeevatma you see uh, now we are also having jeevatma this jeevatma by nature it is pure but because of the interaction with the maya that means with the, because of interaction with the false ego it is becoming impure so then then that's why uh, so what is my point is here suddha jeevatma means the jeevatma the the aspect you should understand it as a aspect it is a aspect which is uh which is free from the this interaction that portion actually that aspect you should take he is not any new jivatma it, it is you jivatma you only but it is in existing in the different levels actually existing in the different forms it is jivatma interacting interacting with the modes then that is known as, that is not known as suddha jivatma शुद्ध जीवात्मा मीन द जीवात्मा विथट इंटराक्शन विद दि मोड्स दट आस्पेक्ट इज नोन एज शुद्ध जीवात्मा यस यस हू इज कामन इन फोर स्टेजेस Yeah. Yes. Can you ask once again? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Ah, that is a point actually. That's why to to make you understand this, that's why I am saying Suddha Jivatma is an aspect. It is not the see the only this Suddha Jivatma only existing. This is the Suddha Jivatma. Suddha Jivatma. But now in the Jagrata Vasta, what it is doing? It is interacting with the modes that means these are all the product of the modes that means external senses internal external sense objects and external senses and also internal senses all these are all products of the modes three modes so that's why it is interacting with this and it is getting polluted polluted that means in this polluted jivatma the aspect of sudha jivatma is there or not that is i am saying that point you should take is there that means but now it is becoming that means uh, some uh, polluted but but it is having that suddha jivatmaness is there now in that yeah atma is always pure now that aspect you should take that aspect you should take yeah yeah, yeah. deep sleep yes Yeah. 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 So how how does that sentence make sense in the context of the three modes of the body? Ah, what is happening in the the sushupti is the cause of the three modes. That means your antakarana, everything became inactive. And but the samadhi is what? is completely it is not the cause of the three modes it is separate from the three modes that means samadhi happens uh, because of the that means the lesha matra bhakti that means the, because of the devotion so this pure jivatma is going and merging with the the fourth that means brahman so that is not because of the modes but these three that means now you see in the three in the sushupti stage what happens your internal antakarana is there but that is becoming simply inactive for some time inactive for some time so that is that is done by what that is done by the gunas only so that's why the difference is sushupti is out of gunas but samadhi is not out of gunas yeah 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 Yes, inactive. That means senses, mind, intelligence. Those are all there. That means they are all connected with the jivatma. Connected means so they are all existing uh, we, along with the jivatma. But now that 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 uh, interaction is stopped. Uh, that is done by the because of the modes. That's why here it is saying swapna jagras swapna susuptimcha gunata ha buddhi urutta ya ha because of the modes. Those are all. Yeah. Shushupti is caused by the its uh, gunas only, because, huh? Why? Because the shushupti means what? Deep sleep. Deep sleep is also is caused by the modes. But in the deep sleep, what is happening? That is, uh, you, there is a there is a zero interaction between the jivatma and the senses. But it happened because of what? it happened because of gunas only but there is a disconnection that is a point that means deep sleep state is not because of any other uh, uh, other things yeah it is because of the gunas only yeah is a deep tamoguna actually yes when tamoguna is very excessive deep then these are all become inactive yeah that's why these three are the out of gunas but samadhi is not out of the modes that is because of the sadhana you will be so achieving that by the mercy of the lord one will be enter into the merge into the oneness you will get oneness with the brahman finish in the case of brahman realization those are all become disconnected when you go and merge then there is no subtle body is carried Ah, uh, uh, samadhi. Different types it will be. 
So Brahman, Samadhi on Brahman, Samadhi on the Paramatma, that means on this, uh, on Paramatma, also Samadhi on the Bhagavan, lotus feet. Suddha Jeevatma. Now that Suddha Jeevatma is equal to Brahman, because that we should establish. Actually, Pippalayana is saying that the one which is common to the Jagra, Swapna, Sushupti and Turiya, that is known as Brahman, he said. But actually, what we are understanding from the 11th, 11th canada 1327, it is Krishna himself is saying. So, that is not, that is not the Brahman, but that is the Suddha Jeevatma. Now the challenge is, how can you say this Suddha Sivatma is nothing but the Brahman? That is the point. You are understanding? There is a difference between the two uh, people now. Pippalayana and also, and also Krishna. 13th chapter means who is saying this? This is Krishna's statement. Uddhogit means Krishna. This is, this is Krishna's statement. There is a difference. Now that's why Prav this Jeeva Goswami is saying. So the, the common element is nothing but the Suddha Jeevatma, then how can you say this is Brahman? Pippalayana, how he is saying it is a Brahman? That is said love like, like this. Iti darshanena Suddha Jeeva Swarupa Mevatra Upasthitam Bhavati. That means Suddha Jeeva is only existing in these all three stages in common. Tathapi, still. Atra natan matram vivakshitam. Kintu... Antar Bhuta Jeeva Kyadi Shakti Kam Purna Chidrupa Meva Vivakshitam. Even though Suddha Jeevatma is only existing in all these stages, but still that Suddha Jeevatma is indicating the Brahman only. That is indicating the Brahman only. Kintu Antar Bhuta Jeeva Kyadi Shakti Purna Chidrupa Meva Vivakshitam. How can you say? That means Suddha Jeevatma is existing, but that is, is nothing but that is indicating the Brahman only. How? The rule is there. Even in the day to day life, also you will do one thing. What? Yatra Purnam Vastum Vastu Darshayitum Na Shakyate. Tatra yeka deshe nirdeshe neva uddishyate angulye samudro yam itivatu. When I ask you, you went to Jagannath Puri, and when anyone uh, asks, where is the ocean? So immediately you will show that, you see, 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 that is the ocean. You are putting one place, that means you are putting your finger on the one part of the, that samudra, you are indicating the some part of that. Ocean, but you are showing that is representing the whole ocean. Even if you want to represent the whole ocean, what you are doing? You are just pointing the some portion of the that object. Similarly, here Suddha Jeevatma is nothing but the part of the Brahman. Brahman is a pure and complete, and it is a part of that. So that means just by indicating Suddha Jeevatma, like how if you want to show the whole ocean, even you are indicating the some portion of that, uh, that uh, ocean and that is referring, that is, in, that is nothing but the meaning is what you should take, that is the meaning is, it is representing whole ocean the similar way here. Suddha Jeevatma means you should take the Brahman. Clear? What is the difference for? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So Mayavadis, they don't accept the existence of Suddha Jeevatma. Yeah. They don't accept the, that means uh, Suddha Jeevatma as the existing person. But they say, yeah, Jeevatma is, there is no particle, separate particle. They don't accept separate particle is existing separately from the Brahman. They say Brahman only, 
is reflecting on the antakarana that is known as jivatma so now the what is the difference you are seeing here there is a ocean is there some total and there is one point we say jivatma is there and it is separate from the brahman and also it is not separate inside of that so like this we we accept jivatma is a particle which is existing separately but in the concept of advaitins there is no separate particle of jivatma so they say that how what is the then what is the then definition of the uh, merging into brahman just to destroying the antakarana then there is no reflection of the brahman then there is no jiva then who is remaining brahman only this is their explanation getting difference yeah yes yes ah uh, no actually they say it is a reflection reflection of the brahman only reflection of brahman on antakarana no see this is the brahman and this is the antakarana there are so many antakaranas now it is reflecting is it, it is reflecting on this this brahman is reflecting on this antakarana and uh, so that's why this is upadi uh, upadeya this is upadeya and this is upadi will not be there finish then who is there satyam gnanam anantam brahma ah that is yeah yeah if, if there is no upadi then there is no reflection there is only one is remaining <laughs> this is the <laughs> philosophy अंगुल्ये अंगुल्यग्रे समुद्रोयम इतिवत नेक्स्ट ब्रह्मत्वग्रहण चेदृष्ट सैदी तद अभेद निर्देश निर्देश अत्र उपयुक्त या देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन दि ब्रह्म अंड भगवान् सॉरी ब्रह्म अंड दि शुद्ध जीवात्मा here why pippalayana sorry why the pippalayana is showing is saying the one which is common to the jagra swapna shushupti and samadhi is nothing but the uh, brahman because he is he is thinking the abheda abheda between the shuddha jeevatma and brahman that's why he is mentioning like this abheda drushtya that means by the view of abheda it is said and it is proper only it is not improper because that shuddha jeevatma means without any attributes just chin matrata and that is also chin matrata brahman is also but it is a more and it is infinitely small that is infinite but both are chin matra only na so like this there is no difference मनो अभी अभेद निर्देश विवेचनीय यदि भेदो ज्ञापनीय तदा स्वप्नाद यदन्वयन स्थित यच्छा तद शुद्धायां जीवाक्यशक्त शक्त तथा स्थित चकारा तत परी व्यतिरेकेण स्थित स्वयं अवशिष्ट व्याख्येय
यदि भेद ज्ञापनीय इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शो द डिफरेन्स बिटवीन दि शुद्ध जीवात्मा एंड दि ब्रह्मन यदि भेद ज्ञापनीय तदा स्वप्नाद दट मीन इवन इन द स्वप्न एंड जागृत एंड शुषुप्ति स्वप्नाद यद अन्वयन स्थित यत अन्वयन स्थित यदि शुद्ध जीवाक्य शक्त तथा स्थित चकारा तत परी व्यतिरेकेण स्थित स्वयं अवशिष्ट व्याख्य तदेव यत्विधत्न आविर्भवती तत् परम तत्व अवेहि यू कैन शो देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन दि इट शुद्ध जीवात्मा एंड आलो ब्रह्मन भेद भेद ना एक्चुअली वी हव अभेद आलो एंड आलो वी हव भेद आलो वी शोड भेद नव अभेद नव यू कैन शो द अभेद आलो फ्रम दिस श्लोक यू कैन यू कैन एस्टाब्लिश अभेद प्रिंस भेद प्रिंसिपल आलो फ्रम दि सेम पिपल स्टोरी यू कैन एक्सप्लेन हौ टू एस्टाब्लिश भेद बिटवीन दि जीवात्मा एंड दि ब्रह्मन दट इज से हियर now till now what we discussed there is a no difference between the so jeevatma shuddha jeevatma and the brahman yeah and and the same people in statement you can establish also the beda how to do that that chakara is there chakara the from this chakara chakara tatah paratrapi vetirekena sthitam swayam avashishtam iti vyakyam that means there is a one which is separate from these three stages and which is existing apart from these three stages separately that is known as brahman and which is existing in these three stages that is jivatma so from this in this way you can show you can show the difference between the so shuddha jivatma and the brahman so that you can easily establish there is a by beda beda principle only you can establish there is a particle jivatma otherwise you have to may you may get danger of the that accept you should you should you also should accept the the philosophy of advaitins bachana chai how to save yourself so this is the way you you can establish the difference between the the शुद्ध जीवात्मा एंड ब्रह्म एंड आलो यू कैन एस्टाब्लिश द नॉन डिफरेंस फ्रॉम दि पिपल आईन स्टेटमेंट नेक्स्ट इदमेव सिद्ध प्रसंगे अप्याहि फिफ्त अनुच्छेद विष्णुत्रीश्वरे चित्त धारे काल विग्रह सईषत्वती क्षेत्र क्षेत्र चोदना नारायणे तुरीयाक्ये भगवशब्दशब्दिते मनोमया दत्ोगी मद्धर्मशिता यात निर्गुणे ब्रह्मणे मये धारयन विशद मन परमानंदमाती यत्र कामो वसीयते इदम सिद्ध प्रसंगे आहा दिस थ्री नौ वन अगेन दिस होल बुक इज गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दि ब्रह्म एंड भगवान एंड इन द नेक्स्ट बुक परमात्मा संदर्भ इज इज टेलिंग अबाउट दि परमात्मा हाँ यस मेजरली यस सो नौ सिद्ध प्रसंग वाट इज दि सिद्ध प्रसंग Once upon a time, there is a Uddhava, and he is asking questions to Krishna about various things. About the Siddhis, he asked. Then Krishna is explaining by meditating on whom you will get what kind of Siddhi. So in that context, we are also seeing Krishna himself is mentioning about. This is Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagwan. Meditating on Brahman, meditating on the Paramatma, meditating on the 
Bhagavan. So that's why the concept of Brahman Paramatma Bhagavan is also accepted by the Krishna himself. So that is the main point actually now. So now just we are seeing the meanings of these slokas. First one is Vishnau Tradhishwari Chittam Dharayet Kala Vigrahe Saishatvam Avapnoti If anyone meditate on the Vishnu, Vishnu means here what you should take, it is Paramatma, Kala Vigraha. That means, Kala Vigraha means the personification of time. Who is the personification of time? Paramatma, that means Antaryami. So time what it does, it is observe, it is a witness, it is observing everything. That means personification of time is nothing but Antaryami. Paramatma, how can you say? Because both are witness. So Krishna himself in the form of time, he is witnessing everything. That means in the form of, that means Paramatma. So now here, Vishnu Tradishwari Chittam Dharayet Kala Vigrahe. From the word Kala Vigraha, you should understand it is nothing but the Antaryami. Personification of time is nothing but the Antaryami Paramatma. If anyone meditate on him, what he will get? Ishatvam Avapnoti. Paramatma is Ishwara. He is a controller. So by meditating on him, what you will get? Ishwaratvam. Whatever he is having, he will give that. So Ishwaratvam. Next, Narayane Turiyakke Bhagavas Shabda Shabdite Mano Mayadadat Yogi Maddharma Vasitam Yat Then if anyone meditate on the Narayana, that means it is Bhagavan actually. Bhagavas Shabdite Narayane, the one who is known as Bhagavan, that is Narayana, if anyone meditate on him, what he will get? What kind of... Siddhi he will get? Vashita. Vashitam Iyat. Ishattum he got by meditating on the Paramatma, by meditating on the Bhagavan, Vashitam Iyat. Next, Nirgune Brahmani Mayi Dharayan Vishadam Manaha Paramananda Mapnoti Yatra Kamo Vasiyate When one he meditates on the Brahman, then what he will get? Paramanandam Apnoti. So like this, so it is said, that means Brahman, Paramatma, Bhagavan here also. Tikacha, Traidishwari, Gunamayi, Trigunamaya, Niyantari. Then word to word meanings are given here in this sloka. Traidishwari means, so the one who controls the Trigunas. And Kala Vigraha means, Akala Yitru, Akala Yitru, Akala Yitru Rupe, that means Antaryamini. Kala Vigraha means the personification of time, that is known as Antaryami. Who is saying? Sridhar Swami is saying, that's why. So Jiva Goswami is clearly saying that this Antaryami is nothing but the, that means Kala Vigraha is nothing but the, Antaryami is nothing but the Paramatma. So next, Turiyakki. Come to the next sloka, then what is the meaning of Turiya? That means fourth stage. That fourth stage is nothing but the, so, which is separate from the Virat, Hiranyi, Garba and Karana. These are the three different, that means like the Sapna, Sushupti, uh, sorry, Jaga, Sapna, Sushupti, Turiya. The same way, here there are the four forms. What is that? So, Turiya means not that the all the time we should understand the uh, Jagra, Sapna, Sushupti. Turiya means, what is the general meaning of Turiya? Fourth one. Turiya means fourth. Fourth. Fourth, that means if you have four pens, so one, two, three, fourth one is known as Turiya. So here Turiya means, huh? it is not necessary. Four means Samadhi. Huh? Four means Samadhi. No, no. Nah. So, yeah, num, Turiya means four. L literal meaning four. What are those three then? Here, four, fourth is Narayana, fourth is Narayana, then what are those three? Jagra, Swapna, Shushupti? No. What are those three? Hey, no. Virat, Purusha, Hiranyagarbha, Karanam, and fourth is the Narayana. Are you, Turiya means four, you understand, you should remember all the time, four. Oh, just four, yeah. 
then what are those three then you should understand if four is narayana then three mean uh, remaining three are the so then remaining three virat purusha and hiranyagarbha and karana if uh, fourth is the uh, is the samadhi that means brahman then remaining three are the so jagrata sapna shushupti like that na is a sanskrit word karanam pradhana that is karanam these are the three and fourth is narayana hiranyagarbha is brahma ji eshasya त्रिविर्हीनम तुरीयम परमम विदु द वन हु इज सपरेट फ्रॉम ऑल दिस थ्री विराट हिरण्यगर्भा दट्स अ गुणवतारा अंड द कारण दट इज अ प्रधान सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल दिस थ्री दट हु इज फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल दिस थ्री दट इज नोन एज हु इज दैट दट इज नोन एज नारायण ब्रह्मा यस that means uh, the creator secondary creator that's a upadhi actually yes or no yes. brahma is a post that is known as hiranyagarbha then a particular soul will be allotted to that from the nabhi kamala what is created that means brahma is created that means secondary creatorship is created then that is some particular jivatma is assigned to that okay so that's a hiranyagarbha means is a secondary creator <coughs> so next vishnu purana is also said aishwarya se samagra se bhagavan means what that's why bhagavan is nothing but narayana is nothing but turiya four turiya means fourth fourth one is clarifying actually jiva goswami is now this tika is clarifying our sridhar swami himself is clarifying each word मैं थोड़ा सा स्पीड जाना चाहता हूँ सो so, ऐश्वर्य से समग्र से वीर से आश श्री ओह ज्ञान वैरागी शन्ना भग इधिंग सो यू आल नो द मीनिंग ऑफ भगवान दट इज ओनली रिपीटेड हियर तद्वती भगवत शब्द शब्दीते इत्येषा फ्रॉम दि अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दि फाइनली द वर्ड टू वर्ड मीनिंग्स ऑफ दि श्रीधर स्वामी यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड क्लियरली दट परमात्मा भगवान अंड ब्रह्म आर् मेन्शन बै दि लॉड हिमसेल so that's why this concept is seen in in the siddha prasanga also clear next sixth anusheda ata vadanti ityadyasya padyasya pratyavasthapanam yavat tritiya sandarbham udbhavyate so we started our sandarbha with which shloka our bhagavad sandarbha started with the vadanti tattas and the explanation for this will be continued throughout the bhagavad sandarbha and also paramatma sandarbha yeah that is a sutra actually that is a bija and then from the one small seed the big tree is coming and spreading all over world all over the place the same way so the concept of brahman paramatma and bhagavan we are elaborating this only in these two books so that's why till paramatma sandarbha it will be continued explanation or elaboration of this vadanti tattva vedas तत्र योग्यता वैशिष्ट्यन आविर्भाव वैशिष्ट्यम वक्त ब्रह्म आविर्भाव तवत् योग्यता वाट वी अंडर्स्टूड द तत्व इज ओनली वन इन दट श्लोक द फस्ट लाइन इज गिविंग दि जनरल डिस्क्रिपन आफ दि तत्व दट इज नथिंग बट दि अद्वय ज्ञान सो देन दट इज आलो नोन एज ब्रह्म परमात्मा अंड भगवा सो दिस इज हाविंग दिस डिफरेंट नेम्स बिकॉज आफ दि रियलेशन आफ दि योग्यता दट मीन बिकॉज आफ दि डिफरेन्स इन द realization of the worshippers so that is because of their yogyata is different that's why they are realizing the same truth in different way now then what is the way to realize the brahman you said very nice you people are very nicely selling that by the yogyata so by difference in a yogyata the same tattvam is realized as brahman paramatma and bhagwan then how one will realize the brahman you tell me you explain now so that is a now the topic tatra yogyata vaishishtyena aavirbhava vaishishtyam vaktum brahma aavirbhave tavad yogyata maha then what is the qualification for the realizing 
that tattvam as brahman what is the qualification who will realize how they will realize that we have to discuss yes yeah who is answering this from where we can get answer for this our brahma ji is saying our brahma ji is saying to bhagwan himself he is doing the brahma vimohan leela from the brahma vimohan leela so brahma ji is himself is glorifying lord in this with this shloka and in that shloka you can see the realizing how to realize the brahman in that shloka you can see how to realize brahman what is that shloka tathapi bhuman mahima gunasyate vibodhum arhatyam alantaratma bi avikriya swanubhavad rupato yananya bodhyatmataya na chanyatha tathapi still general meaning is bhuman oh my dear lord brahma ji is saying to the krishna oh my dear lord agunasya you don't have any form agunasya yes yeah in the form of brahman he doesn't have any form so uh, brahman doesn't have any form he is a brahman so agunasya that means who has no attributes that means mahima the glory of brahman here now agunasya means aguna who is aguna brahman so agunasya mahima means the glory of brahman the glory of brahman vibodhu marhati one is able to know by what by whom it will be known it will be known by the amalantaratma bihi that means by the people who uh, who who purified their heart from the contamination that means brahma ji is saying my dear lord the the gnanis who are freed from the material contamination they realize you in the form of in the brahman and they will realize your mahima in the form of brahman what is the process avikriyat swanubhavat by avikriyat by swanubhavat that means by their own experience they realize and what how it is that anubhava is how it is avikriya there is no kriya that means there is no action there is purely inert that means purely inactive 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 antaratma is realizing the experience of the experience of inactive antaratma is the eligibility when antaratma is completely is not having any functions what happens what i said i said that in the jagra swapna susupti what happens this antakarana is getting the vikriyata uh, that means it is getting vikriyata that means it is it is uh, turning into different different forms when you see a pen in that antakarana is now turned in the form of pen that means different different vritti sar are created in this antakarana antakarana itself is taking the shapes that is known as vrittis that means there is a transformation in, in the antakarana when it will happen when this jivatma is not identifying himself as suddha jivatma because of the ignorance when this jivatma understand itself as this connected to this material world then there is a different changes in the antakarana but now these sages this gnanis by the gnana sadhana what they do they will stop transformations of antakarana avikriya that is the meaning of that 
there are no transformations in antakarana by that they will realize everything they reject whatever they see they will not at all put their attention in that unka their their mind will not go in, their antakarana will not go there and it will not transform into that object huh they don't eat anything the gnanis they are beyond the all the dualities no pain no gain no profit no loss and no nothing actually that is a very difficult it's not so easy making completely antakarana inactive avikriyat okay brahma ji is saying what is a yogyata this is a yogyata who is going to realize amala antaratma bihi that means whose heart is freed from the material contamination how they ananya bodhyatmataya so they merge into the brahman by the mercy of the lord we will see the meaning of ananya bodhyatmata in the explanation so this is a the brahma ji is saying in this way that means he is glorifying krishna you are nothing but that brahman and uh, this yogi is realize realize you through the unchanged antakarana okay that how it is and what are the inner details that tomorrow we will discuss